Humane Society. Thank you so much for joining us today. It breaks my heart to let you know that Ashley's canine companion, Maxwell, passed away peacefully last night in her arms. Max was a true forever friend and loved accompanying Ash on all of her adventures, including hiking, going for long walks, and playing in the dog park. His favorite activity was snuggling on his bed in her office, always ready to greet us with a happy tail wag and his soulful eyes. Max, you will be dearly missed, and we'd like to dedicate this show to you. Ash, please know that our thoughts and prayers are with you. By choosing to adopt a pet from a shelter, you're saving a life. Plus, no matter what type of dog, cat, or small critter you're looking for, you're sure to find your new best friend at a shelter. Well, there are wonderful pets of every breed, size, and age. Today, we'll introduce you to over a dozen pets, including Mr. Mustachio, a wiry terrier who is rescued off the streets of Chandler. And yes, there is a dog under all of this tangled fur. Cookie and Daisy are two poodles who were found trapped in a wire crate under direct sunlight and left without any water. Our team rescued the two matted dogs and later on in the show we'll reveal their incredible makeover. Plus, our friends from Any Rat Rescue are joining us today with the most darling little baby rats. Their shelter is full of youngsters right now, and we will meet a few in need of a home. But first, please meet my co-host, little Fitzwilliam Darcy. And if his captivating blue eyes don't just melt your heart into a puddle of mush, then his rumbling purr certainly will. The Siamese Nix was found on the hot pavement on Baseline Road and was suffering from heat stress. Our pet paramedics administered fluids on the scene before rushing him to our trauma center for homeless pets where he was feeling much better within a few days and now he's ready for someone to sweep him off his paws and fall in love. He is absolutely beautiful. So let's meet a few of our other kids on today's show. There's a time when Castle and Knuckles could fit into the palm of your hand, but Perry, they are quickly outgrowing their ability to be lap dogs. <laughs> That's right, uh, Carrie. These guys are going to be big ones, and I don't know if you remember, but a couple weeks ago we had a doggy named Athena on our show, and we showed her with her 12 puppies that she had kind of hung in there with and uh, helped survive. These are two of Athena's puppies. Athena has gone off and gotten the the fantastic home right now and these are two of the 12 right here this is knuckles i have knuckles right here they're both little boys and bj has castile they went to a foster home because at four weeks of age they were just too small to be adopted they weren't the right weight so they are up to speed now and boy they have about 12 pounds now so they're well above that two pound limit now and these guys uh, the foster mom said had a great time in the home they actually live with two adult cats the cats weren't particularly too fond of them, but she said the puppies were willing to play. And they particularly like bean bags. So all you people from the 60s, go out and buy a bunch of bean bags for your house and let these guys lounge around because they are going to be a blast. Oh, Knuckles and Kestel. Kestel. They are so cute, Barry. Those little floppy ears just get me. If you decide to come visit Ace at our shelter, be sure to bring a tennis ball. And if you don't have a good throwing arm, consider bringing a ball launcher as well. Because, Lisa, the Sakita Pointer Mix is a fetching machine and has a ton of energy to burn. He's here. He is an Akita Pointer Mix. He is 80 pounds. Believe it or not, this guy is allowed on the furniture and also slept in bed with his owner. So if your bed is empty, I can find somebody to fill it for you. But um, he is very well behaved. He knows fetch. He loves to play tug. He will run in the backyard with you. If you throw that ball, he will bring it back to you. He is a wonderful house dog. He's house trained. He is leash trained. He will keep you fit and active. And his owner had to surrender him to us because the landlord wouldn't allow Ace. I don't know why. He is absolutely adorable, but he is an Akita Pointer, 80 pounds of pure love. Come down and meet him. Oh, there he goes. He thinks you have a ball somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a Chihuahua at home, and are they fixed? Well, thanks to PetSmart Charities, both of Arizona Humane Society's public veterinary clinics will be offering $20 spay-neuter surgeries for any Chihuahua or mix throughout the month of August. And that also includes a free nail trim. Space is will call the number on your screen to make your appointment today and mention Cherish Your Chihuahua. Cats can become pregnant as early as five months old. And so it was with this Berman mix, who was just a kitten herself when she arrived at our shelter with babies in tow. Perry, tell us some more about the Divine Lotus. 
Well, Carrie, you're right. This is a, definitely the case of kittens having kittens here. Only five months old. Didn't have much of a kittenhood herself here, Lotus. And so she was off raising young ones. And now she went, uh, she went to a foster home after that where the foster mom tells her she's a very, very sweet kitty, but she does take a little bit of time to warm up. You know what? And I expected to kind of see kind of a frantic cat here today. But I'm not seeing that. She actually seems to be to be doing very, very well with dogs beside her. She lived with two large dogs in the house, and although she said she wasn't a big fan of her, toward the end of her fostering, she actually said she got to be pretty used to them. Uh, she loves to chase anything that moves. She doesn't like particularly being cuddled upon just yet. She's getting there. She likes to have all four feet on the ground. But boy, look at that pretty flame point cat we have here in Lotus. She is absolutely adorable. And she's only eight months old, so she's got a long, long life ahead of her. And she's got that kittenhood to reclaim, so come on down and give Lotus that life she deserves. Thank you, Perry. Dignified, refined, and noble are all words that come to mind when you think of a mustache. And Mr. Mustachio knows how, it, how it's done and pities the fool who can only muster up some peach fuzz. Lisa, the schnauzer sports the most awesome hipster beard, and although he doesn't like to brag, he sure knows it draws in the ladies. He says he is a ladies' man, and he has a very well-furnished moustache and goatee there, don't you, little man? He is very affectionate, a schnauzer, um, maybe a schnauzer mix, but he is uh, soft and sports a beautiful eyebrows and mustache of a schnauzer. 18 pounds, he's about uh, a year and a half old, and he was found, believe it or not, as an injured stray. So he was matted and had a little bit of skin issues so he's been checked out at our second chance animal hospital and now what he's looking for is a partner who will allow him to lounge in his dog bed at the foot of your bed he's a brisk walker all you need to do is take out that leash and he will get you going first thing in the morning well don't worry little man the ladies will be lined up for him like no other well, here's Zoe, an eight-month-old black lab, and she was heading on her way into a loving home. Her new best friend and owner, Julie, say that Zoe is an amazing dog who is always by her side. The two enjoy road trips, evening walks, and lots of playtime in the yard. Julie said she couldn't imagine life without her. After several months in our care, Chase was very depressed and stressed in the kennel. When we come back, hear how our teams rallied behind this sweet dog to ensure that he found a happy home.